good evening guys good evening class how are you hello hello i am fine and you teacher oh, very good too <laughs> okay it's good to see you guys i hope that you are okay and that you're not having so much problems with the rain mm -hmm. is everything okay over there where you live i okay <laughs> okay nice well i just made a mistake right now okay good so welcome to the class today this is our class number four and we have an important topic to study. You can see it in a moment, the PowerPoint presentation, the class presentation. Today we're going to study the numbers and vocabulary of common objects. And today is Monday, June 26, 2023. So by the end of the class, the students will be able to exchange phone numbers. You will practice the numbers. And also you will become familiar with common objects language the people have in their bags. To start with the class, we are going to uh, review the previous class. In the previous class, we were studying verb to be questions, how to make uh, questions with the verb to be. So we're going to start with um, interactive game to practice the structure of the bird to be in a moment <clears throat> okay so let's see bird to be just no questions Okay, remember the structure for just no questions. We start with the verb to be, the subject, and the complement. That could be an adjective, for example. So what is the best answer for this question? Are you Italian? No. What is the best answer? Si. What is the correct? Si. Yes. I am. Yes, I am. Are you Italian? Yes, I am. Yes, I okay. am. Okay. Next. Is Anna a teacher? Um, no, he isn't. Yes, she is. Or yes, he is. Or no, she isn't. She's an actress. What is the correct answer? No, he isn't. No, he yes, is. Is. No. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, Anna is she. It's a woman. Yes. So the correct she. is letter C. No, yes. she isn't. She's an yes. actress. A is incorrect because it's using he. B is he. incorrect yes. for the same reason. So the correct yes. is letter C. She. She, because it's Anna. Is the dog outside? Yes, they are. Yes, it is. Or yes. no, we aren't. Yes, it is. Yes, it is Me. because the it dog, it dog is it. Right? Yes, it is. Okay, next. Is Juan your cousin? What is the correct answer? <laughs> is Juan tu primo? Is no, Juan is. your cousin? No, he isn't. No, no he, he is, is my brother. He is my brother. brother. No, is very good, very good. Are you and your family from Canada? You and your family. Yes, yes, we are. We are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Okay. Is that your pencil? Yes, it is. No, they aren't. Or yes, we are. Yes, yes, yes it, it is. is. Yes, it is, right? Because pencil is an yes. object. 
Yes, it is. Okay. Are your friends at a school? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, we are. Are yes, your friends at a school? Okay. Yes, yes, we are. Are these your books? Are these your books? Mm -hmm. Are these your books? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It? it. Books is plural. Are these your... Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. Is it, your, is it your cell phone? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Is Julia <laughs> Japanese? Yes, she yes. is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> is your friend Mario from France? No, he's Mexican. He's Mexican. That's correct. Is Japan in South America? Is Japan in South America? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Japan is in Asia. Are Spain and France in Europe? Yes, they are. Yes, yes they are. Okay. Yes, they are. Next question. Are you and your classmate learning English? You and your yes, we are. Yes, we are. We yes, are. We are. And that's yeah. it. Very good. We practice the questions, yes, no questions in the present call with the verb to be. Yes, it is. Okay, this is just a review because we studied this the last, the last Friday. Remember the structure for the yes, no questions. First, we need the verb to be, the subject and the complement. For example, am I a happy teacher? Yes, you are. Okay. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Is Vladimir Putin Russian? Yes, yes he is. He is. He, is. Uh -huh. he, because Vladimir is a man, right? Is Shakira an actress? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Is El Salvador a big country? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's because El Salvador is a country, it's a thing. Are we all Salvadorian? Yes, yes we are. Yes, we are. We are Salvadorian. Are you my student? Yes, yes we are. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Are Gabriela and Nayib married? Yes, yes, they are. They are. yes, they are. And they have a baby. So over here, you can see the short answers. For example, guys, am I, if, am I your teacher? You can answer, yes, you are, or no, you are not. Are you? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Esa es la forma en cómo respondemos. Is he? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Is she? Yes, he is. No, she's not. Is it? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Are we? Yes, we are. No, we're not. Are you? Yes, you are. No, you're not. Are they? Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, so this not. is just, guys, a review. This is just a review, okay? 
Now, today we are going to study the numbers. I know you know the numbers in English, right? Because we learn the numbers in English when we are just kids. One, two, One, three, two four, three, four, five, 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 six, 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 Okay, the numbers from 1 to 10. But what about the numbers from 1 to 50? The numbers from 1 to 50. Okay, can we have a volunteer to, to say the numbers 11 to 20? Julio, okay, Julio, go ahead. Okay, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven to twenty. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good, Jorge. Okay, somebody else from twenty one to thirty. Uh, Jennifer Yvonne. Twenty-one, ese, ¿verdad? Yes. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thank you. Okay, thirty-one to forty, Julio. Thank you, teacher. Uh, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Very good, Julio. Okay, Cecilia Veronica, 41 to 50. Uh, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> Very nice. So if you notice, it's easy, right? You just have to remember that here in this one, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the emphasis is in the last syllable. Why is that important? Because we need to make the difference between those numbers and the other numbers, like for example, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, so we make the difference. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60, 17, 70. 1880, 1990. <clears throat> okay, guys, I would recommend that if you had problems listening because of the rain, you should you should buy earphones or headphones because that will help you to listen better. Okay, if you had problems with the rain. <clears throat> now, guys, um. <clears throat> <clears throat> so these are the numbers. Who can say the numbers from 50 to 60? 51, 52. Karina? <laughs> eh, de, de cual dijo? 50 <laughs> to 60. 50 <laughs> to 60. 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Very good. Continue, Ana Silvia. Ana Silvia, you can continue with 60. 60, 40. No, 60. 
Sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four, sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven, sixty eight, sixty nine, seventy, right? Seventy. 70. Angie, continue seventy to eighty. Seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, seventy four, seventy five, seventy six, seventy seven, seventy eight, seventy nine, eighty. Eighty, very good. Who wants to continue eighty to ninety? Seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, seventy four, seventy five, seventy six, seventy seven, seventy eight, seventy nine, eighty. Eighty, very good. Eighty to ninety, Fernando. Yes, eighty one, eighty two, eighty three, eighty four, eighty six, eighty five, eighty six, eighty seven, eighty nine, and ninety. Okay, and the last ten numbers to one hundred, ninety to one hundred. Emily Azucena. Eighty one. 91. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. 100. Very good. So we counted from 1 to 100. Okay, it's always important to practice the numbers. Very good. So today we are going to use the numbers to say the phone numbers. We have some examples here. Ana Silva's work phone number is 201-555-2491. Ana Silva's home phone number, the home, is 914-555-2714. And Ana Silva's cell phone number is 845-555-2714. Zero two three. So remember the zero we can say zero or we can say o zero or o. We can also say o for the number zero. Zero or o. O like the letter O. We have over here another example about James Leon. Who wants to say? What is James Leon's work phone number? What is Leon's work phone number? A A O Thank you, Karina. Okay, what is Leon's home phone number? Six. Oh. Yes, six. Okay. Six zero four five 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 two seven one four. Thank you, Angie. And what is his cell phone number? Edward Stephen, would you like to say what is his cell phone number? No sé si se oye, pero se ve bien aquí. Yeah, we can hear you. No, no digo. Sí, lo escuchamos. Ok. Two, five, zero, five, 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 one, zero, two, three. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Edward. Very good. So, okay. so yeah, those, when we say the telephone numbers in English, we usually say number by number. Two zero one five 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 two four nine one. Well, in Spanish, we usually say two numbers, right? We say twenty one, um, fifty five five twenty four ninety one. But in English, it is usually people usually say number by number, one by one. Two zero one five 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 two four nine one. Okay. So now we are going to practice. In this moment in your notebook, you are going to write your cell phone number, 
your work's number, your home's number, your mother's number, and your sister's number. If you don't have a sister, brother, or friend, okay? Now, teacher? Yes, in your notebook. Yes. Write it in your notebook, please. <laughs> Listing. Are you ready? My cell phone number yes. is six four two seven nine nine eight nine. My board number is seven eight one two one eight four eight. My mother number is seven six two two six nine. For one, my sister number is seven eight one two five four zero two. What's your cell phone number? <laughs> my cell phone number is seven zero six eight six four nine seven. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Let me ask some people. Ana Maricela Vasquez, what is your cell phone number? What's your cell phone number, Ana? Seven, O, six, A, six, four, nine, seven. Oh, okay, that is my cell phone number, but what is your cell phone number? Your number, oh, okay, Maricela. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Seven, three, nine, two. Uh, okay, nine, wait, wait. Seven, three. Seven, seven, three, nine, two, nine, four, six, eight. Okay, is that correct? I wrote it in the presentation. Is this correct? Seven three nine two nine four six eight. Yes, yes. Very good, Anna. Okay, Anna, can you ask Jacqueline? Anna Maricela, ask Jacqueline. Pregúntele a Jacqueline. Ask Jacqueline this question. What's your cell phone number? What you say I born a number? What's your cell phone number? What what? What you say? You say your number. cell phone number. What's your cell phone number? What you say for number? My cell phone number is seven zero two four. Six three eight four seven zero six four. Can you repeat, Jacqueline? Uh, six three eight oh, four. 
four. Yes. Is this correct? Seven zero six four six three eight four. Yes. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, ask uh, Emily. Ask the question to Emily. Uh, Emily, what's your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 77472219. Okay, is that correct? 77472219? Is that correct, Emily? The one that I wrote here? Sí. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Emily, mm -hmm. ask Angie. Angie, what is your cell phone number? My. Mm -hmm. We don't listen, Angie. Oh, maybe I'm just having problems with the internet. Okay, we do this exercise yes. in the... Yes, Angie? Yes. Are you ready? What's your cell phone number? Uh, my cell phone number is 7746219. Seven, one, one, one. Okay, let's see. Seven four six two one three one one. Sí, yes. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Thank you for your participation, guys. We did it this way because, um, because of the 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 weather, because of the rain, sometimes uh, we had problems making the groups. That's why we are gonna do it like this today. Okay. <clears throat> So now, guys, you can say your number in English, your cell phone number, your work number, or your home's number. When you speak English, it's important, guys, to mention the S. Don't forget when you speak to mention this. My work's number, my home's number, my mother's number, my sister's number. What's your cell phone number? Okay, what's your cell phone number? And to say also the intonation like a question. What's your cell phone number? So in English, it's important to make the correct intonation. We do it in our language. We do it in Spanish. You also have to do it in English. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, guys, we are going to study some common objects. What objects that we use every day. For example, makeup. That's important for the girls. Hey, we have to, we need to have it in our bag. Makeup, makeup kit, sunglasses, means tissues, earbuds, the phone, the cell phone, or mobile phone, gum, like Clorex or Trident. The wallet, the bands, hair bands, hair pins, credit cards, cash, the change, perfume, lipstick. So this is in a woman's bag. <clears throat> what do you have in your bag? What's in your bag? What of these things or what other things do you have in your bag? What other objects do you have in your bag, Cecilia? Eh, no, no entiendo la pregunta. Objects, other objects that are not here. What other objects do you have in your bag? In your bag. Well, this is my husband's bag <laughs> that I have here, but... <laughs> What do you have in your bag? Yeah. Perfume. Okay, perfume. Cash. 
Oh, Credit. yes. <laughs> well, uh, mm -hmm. in my bag, I have an umbrella. Because of the sun or the rain, an umbrella, una sombría, an umbrella. I will try to draw it here. Mm -hmm. The umbrella, right? Because of the rain. What else? Well, I, I also have like a towel to clean my sweat. A towel. Una toalla, towel. What else do you have in your bag? And so why so in your bag? What else? In my There's... bag, mm -hmm. I have a pampers. You have pampers? <laughs> why, you Karina? Yes. Because you have baby. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you have... I will try to, to draw the pamper. <laughs> For your baby. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Pampers. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, this is about girls, right? Okay, what about um boys? Okay, what is in a woman's bag and what is in a man's bag? What is the difference? We always wear nothing in our bags. Nothing, I don't believe you. I don't believe you because my husband, my my husband has different things in his bag. Well, he's not, not at home right now. <laughs> so we are going to see what he has in his bag. Okay. Uh, look, uh, look. He has a charger. A charger. Phone charger. Phone charger. He has a charger. Okay. What else? Let's see. Hmm. Mass. Now that in this time we need the mass. Okay, mask. And look, he has earphones. These are earphones. Earphones. Okay. Bluetooth earphones. Okay, earphones. What else? I think he's coming. I can I can listen to the car. <laughs> he has some no. papers. Papers. No. Like bills. Sorry, what's what were you saying? Lunch. Yes, the lunch, but I already took I already took the the toppers <laughs> because we, I we also the toppers. Yeah. We also we also wear uh, pens and pencils. Yeah, pen and pencil. Document person. Personal documents. Yeah, the wallet. But he he has it right now in his pocket. But look, he has a t-shirt. <laughs> oh. He has an extra t-shirt. <laughs> an extra t-shirt. Oops. And, Better. and, a, and he also has an agenda. <clears throat> an agenda. Look, he has an Glass. agenda. Glasses. Glasses. No, he he doesn't have glasses. But maybe well, I I usually bring glasses, sunglasses with me because I like to protect my eyes from the sun. Yeah, I think just that. And the toppers with the foot, but. I I took them out because I washed I washed them. <laughs> okay, wow. very nice. Just on time, his has just come. Okay. <laughs> so those are the different things. Some other men have a pen knife. You can see here the pen knife. Una 
And what is the name in Spanish? The pen knife, navaja? Pen knife. Also, keys. The keys, right? To open the door. Mm -hmm. Other people have bottle of water. Right? The bottle of water. So those are the things that we use every day, okay? Common objects, common objects. And in a woman's bag, well, we already say, right? In the picture, we saw the different objects from bread, makeup. Karina said pumpers, <laughs> umbrella makeup, sunglasses. Sometimes we also have toilet paper or candies. Mm -hmm. Money, the money bag, el monedero, the money bag. Okay, and different things. Maruchan soap. <laughs> you had a maruchan soap in your bag? <laughs> okay, you are ready if you, if you get hungry. Very good. So why is this important to know? Because, well, we mention or we talk about the different objects every day. So here we have some classroom objects and we have to complete with a or an or a or an. Okay, this, this word, we use it before a noun or before an object. But we use an before a vowel sound, and we use a before a consonant sound. For example, book starts with vowel or consonant sound. Book, consonant or vowel sound? Consonant. Consonant. It's a consonant. Okay, what about eraser? Is it a vowel or a consonant sound? A vowel. So here we say this is a book, right? This is a mm -hmm. book, but this is um, an eraser. An eraser. Okay. What about okay. this is? Yeah. This is an English, uh, English book. An English book, an English oh. book, because it starts with E, English, right? So this is an English book, and this is a dictionary. Dictionary, dictionary. dictionary notebook. This is? This is a notebook. This is a notebook, okay? And encyclopedia. And this is... um. An encyclopedia, an encyclopedia. This is an encyclopedia because it starts with E. So we have more things here, board, book bag, cassette player, chair, clock, desk, dictionary, door, map, pen, pencil table, wall, waste basket, and window. With all these things, do we use A or an? We say a board, a book bag, a cassette player, chair, a clock, a test, a dictionary, a door, a map, a pen, a pencil, a table, a wall, a wastebasket, or a window. Okay. You can pronounce it A or A. It's correct. <clears throat> okay, before we pass to the next uh, topic, I just want to mention more examples using an. For example, we can say hmm, an apple. If you can help me. Can you give me examples of objects that start with vowel sound? An apple, an orange, an umbrella, an eraser. What else, guys? Tell me. <coughs> I 
sweet. Mm -hmm. Words that starts with vowel sound. An ice cream can. An orange. Yeah, an orange. An um, avenue. Oh, very nice. An avenue. <clears throat> an article. An university. An university, okay. What else? Uh, what? Uh, algebra. An adverb. An adjective. An object. An object. Very good. Yes, what else? An igloo. Water. Mm, can you repeat, please? An estate. Okay. So all the the words that starts with a vowel sound, you will use and when you mention one thing. A, R, and an, we use them when it's only one thing, one, because that word means one, okay? Un libro, un borrador, un diccionario, una enciclopedia, una sombría, una manzana. So the word a and an means one, significa uno, means one, okay? We only use it in singular, only in singular. Okay, now let's learn the plural forms of these words. The, to make the plural form, ¿cómo le hacemos? To make the plural in English. <laughs> like in Spanish, we add S, right? For example, telephone, telephones, camera, cameras, book bag, book bags, <clears throat> desk, desks, map, maps, waste basket, waste baskets, sentence, sentences, exercise, exercises, watch, watches. So to make the plural, we just add S or ES, <clears throat> I will write here, you can copy in your notebook. For example, we have book and I add the S, books. Or <clears throat> we can add ES, for example, watch, watches. I add ES. Or dish, plato, dish, dishes. Dishes. Dishes, yes. I add ES. But in others, I just add the S. Pencil, pencils. Bottle, bottles. Okay. And others that end in Y, I add, I change. Or I drop the Y for IES, but I don't remember. For example, fry, fritura, fry, fries. Okay. Mm. Uh, fly, mosquito, flies, mosquitoes, right. Mm -hmm. I drop the Y and I add IES. So, there is something here with the letter S. As I told you, it's important to pronounce it correctly. S has different sounds or different pronunciations. For example, in this, S like Z, telephones, cameras, bags, 
or lights. Desks, maps, waste, waste baskets. And the other like is sentences, exercises, watching. Now here we have different words. Can you tell me what is the pronunciation of the plural S ending of address? Address? Addresses. Addresses. Briefcase? The plural? <coughs> Brief cases, cases brief cases, clock, clocks, 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 key, keys, keys. Miren, ese sí es una keys. No le cambiamos. We don't change the Y because we have a, a vowel before the Y. So in this case, we just add the S, keys. The pronunciation of keys is the same as kiss, okay? It's the same pronunciation, okay? Key, keys. But what is the plural form of keys? Kisses. Exactly, very good, excellent. The the plural form of keys is kisses. So you don't get confused, right? Because when you say, what are my keys? You are you are asking about the, the ones, the object with which you open the doors. And when you say, give me a kiss, you are, or give me kisses, because you're asking for the kisses, right? Very good. What is the plural form of newspaper? Newspapers. Newspapers, sports. Purses. Purses. Stamps. 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 Television. 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 And ticket? Tickets. Tickets. Very good. So over here we have to classify the pronunciation, okay? For example, here we have addresses. This is addresses. Brief cases. Brief cases. Uh -huh. Over here, brief cases. Brief cases. Okay, what about um, clocks? Clocks. Clocks. It's here. Clocks. 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 Uh -huh. Keys. Keys. It's a, in the first column, like the C. Keys. 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 Mm -hmm. In the first column. Keys. Newspapers. It's over here. Newspapers. Purses. Purses. It's here. Purses. Like e purses, stamps here, stamps, stamps, televisions, televisions, and tickets over here. Tickets. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you make the plural forms, please make sure you pronounce the F, okay? Please everybody practice. Do the sounds because we need to make it a lot in English. And is okay, I will say some words and you Tell me the plural form, okay? Ready? Student. A student. Teacher. Teachers. 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 Dictionary. Dictionary. Dictionaries. Dictionaries. 
Dictionaries. Dictionaries. Foro. Foros. Foros. Ajá. Foros. Eraser. Eraser. House. Houses. 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 Car. Cars. 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 Plants. Plants. Flower. Flowers. Kitchen. 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 Um, butterfly. Butterflyers. Butterflies. Butterflies. And what about bee? Bees. The animals. Bees. 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 Cat. Cat. Meow, meow. Cat. 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 Chicken. Chicken. Chickens. Little. Chicken. Computer. Computers. Computer. Computers. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what else. Glass. Glasses. 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 Dolls. 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 Dogs. Dogs. The animals. Animals. Oh, animals. Animals. Oh. animals. <laughs> Class. Class. Classes. 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 Yes. Okay. Classes. So it's important to practice the plural mm -hmm. forms. Okay. Mm -hmm. The plural forms. Very good. You can do it now, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we are going to go over this topic. Because we don't have enough time today, but I will give you just like a um, introduction. These and these. What is the difference? What's this? What's this? What's this? Singular. 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 Mm -hmm. Then what are these? Plural. Plural, exactly. And we have the example here of apple and apples. This is an Teacher, apple. Una yes, Fernando? Eh, ya pasaron asistencia. No, no, I will I will take it in a moment. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, so this is an apple and these are apples. So this is an apple. Look, it's singular. We use the verb is and we use an because it's only one and because it starts with a vowel sound. And we have three apples, one, two, three apples. So it's plural. These are, are you, it's in plural, are, and the S at the end of apples. These are apples. Okay. So use what's this to ask about one thing, only one. But it's near. Está cerca. One thing that is near. What's this? Mm, it's an apple. It's a delicious apple. Okay. Now, what are these? It is used to us about two things or more that are near. What are these? They are three apples. Okay. They are apples. But tomorrow we are going to continue with what's this and what are this, okay? We have a conversation and we're going to learn about that. So please, everybody, type in the chat, what did you learn today? Everybody type in the chat, escriba en el chat, type in the chat, what did you learn today? ¿Qué aprendiste hoy? What did you learn today? For example, Today, I learned to say numbers or telephone numbers, or we studied common objects. <clears throat> okay, so let's write or let's type in the chat 
And while you do it, I'm going to take the attendance for this class, okay? So, <clears throat> give me a moment. I'm going to take your attendance. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Let's start with Aleida Marilyn Gomez. Alvin de Jesus Cuchilla Varias. Present. Ana Maricela Vaz, thank you. Ana Maricela Vasquez. Present. Very good. Ana Silvia Joachim de Escobar. Present. Oh, great. Angie Yvette Romero. Present. Good job. Cecilia Verónica Hernández. Present. Very good. Christopher Alejandro Goche. Claudia Elizabeth Climaco Ceballos. Um, yo la vi ahí conectada, pero creo que no pudo conectar el audio. Daniel Larisa Romero Díaz. David Ernesto Tolosa Calderón. Denise Rosalía Hernández. Present. Thank you, Denise. Edward Steven Pérez. Present. Emily, Present. thank you. Emily Azucena Ramos. Present. Thank you, Emily. Emanuel Eliseo de León. Emanuel Eliseo. Okay. Fernando Enrique López Alvarado. Present. Very good. Francisco Javier Cortés. Not present today. Gabriela Maria Reyes. Gabriela Maria. Glenda Karina Baños. Present. Very good. Hayes Hassel Beatriz Abarca de Aguilar. Abarca Aguilar. Hassel Beatriz. Absent. Jacqueline Janet Guzmán Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jennifer Yvonne Perez Ramirez. Aquí, presente. Mm -hmm, present, okay. Arquímedes Beltrán. Jorge. Jorge. Present. Oh, okay, Jorge. Jorge Ernesto Martinez. Present. Okay, José Adalberto López. Jocelyn Esmeralda Rosales. Julio Cesar Reyes. Here, present. Okay. Julio Ernesto Echeverría. Present teacher. Thank you, Julio. Carla Elizabeth Navarro de Hernández. Present, Miss. Carla Lucía Rosa. Thank you so much for connecting to the class. I have a lot of absences today, guys, but remember that it's very important that you connect to every class because every minute is counted. Cada minuto cuenta de su asistencia. Si se conectó tarde, ahí le aparecen solo 40 minutos o solo 50 o solo media hora. Y eso le va descontando del 80% de asistencia que usted debe tener. Así que, aun cuando por alguna situación no puedan conectarse, traten de conectarse al menos con datos o de tener cargado su celular um, y si no pueden participar pues al menos solo de oyente pero que esté conectado y luego puede ver la grabación de la clase pero que se conecte verdad para que le, no le afecte en su porcentaje de asistencia ok let's see what did you learn today we have some the messages today we learn common objects today i learned to say plural and singular excellent i learned how to give my phone number great 
Today I learned to say numbers. That's true. I learned to say the numbers. <laughs> Today I learned the numbers and use a or an. Nice, Carla. We learn the numbers to say singular and plural and common objects. We learn the number and common objects and words for the singular and plural. I learned to say telephone numbers plural and singular, plural and singular. Okay. Okay, Jorge is asking where we can see the, the, the classes. You can see it in the platform, in the platform, um, que usted se conecta para hacer los ejercicios. En la parte de arriba hay una pestaña que dice videoconferencias. Ahí lo puede ver. Y también en YouTube. Eh, bueno, voy a tratar de enviarles el enlace para que lo puedan ver. Y también creo que ya les había enviado esa imagen sobre cómo ver la videoconferencia, pero ya no la tengo. Bueno, voy a tratar de enviárselas también para que lo recuerden. Okay, guys, it was the class for today. I hope you have a great night and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. 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 Rest bye. well. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. See you in the next class. See you next class. That is tomorrow. Okay, don't forget. We have class tomorrow. Yeah.